In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the bulk edit features within TubeBuddy so that you can understand how they can save you uh, an awful lot of time managing your growing catalog of videos on YouTube. So easiest way to uh, demonstrate this is just to show you. <laughs> Let's get straight into it. Uh, I've mentioned before about the different places that the TubeBuddy interface appears within the YouTube studio. So we've got some general tools up at the top here. Uh, then we've also got the uh, little TubeBuddy logo that appears next to the individual videos if you're doing something related to a specific video. Um, and then we've also got here within the channel content section of YouTube, uh, we've then got the uh, the bulk and miscellaneous tools. So that's where to find it. It's relating to all of your content. So you'll find it at the top of the channel content section of YouTube Studio. So click the little drop down. There is a number of different uh, bulk edit features that we've got here. Um, I'll come to the find and replace one and the thumbnail overlays a little bit later, but let's start with uh, this down here, bulk cards and bulk end screens. So bulk cards, that is basically the cards are in case you weren't aware when somebody says, oh, I'll link to another video up in the top corner or something like that. Uh, and a little thing appears on the top corner of the video. That is a card. Uh, and then end screens being uh, you know, at the end of the video where you know, people say, check out this next video coming up next. <laughs> those are the end screens. So we can make bulk changes to those. Uh, why is it that you might want to do that? Well, for example, we can update different links and things like that. If you are linking to specific playlists, you can uh, change where you're linking to. If uh, some of the URLs that you're linking to, for example, in your cards have maybe expired or you want to change things up, uh, then you can do that in here as well. So let's have a look, shall we, at uh, these step by step. So the first one is bulk cards. We can actually copy cards from uh, existing videos and then apply those to other videos. So if I come into that one first, it says copy, and it's basically gonna bring up your whole uh, video list. So let me just look for, um, I'll just type Stream Deck. In my most recent videos, I don't tend to use cards so much. The reason being, uh, I used to be all about the cards. <laughs> if you watch some of my early videos, there was like, you can have up to five, I believe it is, in any given video. I would tend to have five in every given video. <laughs> um, so uh, the reason being that I thought I was being quite helpful in you know linking to other stuff that was relevant. Um, but actually, really, if you think about it logically, um, uh, or if I had thought about it logically earlier, <laughs> what's the point in somebody watching a video and you're already sending them off to another video within the first few minutes or something like that? It's uh, It doesn't make sense. If interested in what they've come to see then uh, you know by all means give them the links to find this other stuff um, but the better place for that in my view would be in the description however uh, cards are great for um, certainly towards the end of the video where you may be uh, you know people may be sensing that the video is coming to an end but it gives them another way rather than just on the end screen to click on another video if you're talking about something you know you can lead into it in the sort of last say 20% of the video. Um, another place to consider using these is if you look in your analytics and you see in your retention analysis that there is a particular drop off at a certain point, uh, then having a link to something else just before that point may be a, uh, a little uh, <laughs> idea there to give somebody a, a route from what they're just about to click off to something else. So I'll just come to some of one of my early videos though that I know will definitely have uh, some cards in it. So this one would be one. Uh, so what we're doing here is we're copying cards basically. So you can just come and search for a video and you can select a particular video. And then when you click on continue, it's going to load up all the different cards that you've got in that video. And in this case, it was linking to a playlist. If you had multiple different cards in the video, uh, then they will all show up here and you just select the, uh, the card that you want. Uh, and then if you click on continue or multiple ones, I should say as well. Uh, now what you can do is you can add this card or this collection of cards to a uh, specific video, to a certain number of recent videos, a, uh, a list of video IDs. So if you've got some specific videos that you want to apply these cards to, you can add the list of IDs in there. Or if you want to add the cards to all of the videos in a specific playlist, you've also got the option to do that as well. And if you want to find a specific video, you can search for a um, uh, a specific video that matches a particular phrase. If you want to apply those cards to that video, you can do that in there. So that is how we can uh, basically apply these cards to other videos. I'm not gonna go through and actually do that because I don't necessarily wanna apply that <laughs> card to something else. So if I just come back out of here though, 
and uh, that is the basically the bulk card copy function. Uh, the next one is update. Now this is one that I'm actually far more likely to use where I do have existing cards that are linking out to something and I want to update the URL or something like that. So here we've got uh, cards that are linking to, um, so these are specifically link cards. With, with the uh, cards, you can either link to a, um, an external URL you can link to a video or a playlist um, or to another channel. And in here with the bulk updates, we can update those uh, link cards or the video or playlist cards. So if we've got a link card and we can choose where the URL or we can search by the title. So when you upload a, a, um, uh, a URL link card, you can choose the title, the teaser text and also a call to action. Uh, so we can actually search by either the URL or the title or any of those other fields in there. Uh, and then what we can do is we can update anything from this list. So we can update either the URL, we can update the title, we can update the teaser text, or we can update the call to action, or we can uh, set an image as well. So you can update, upload an image. So those are all different things that you can change with the uh, link cards if you're linking out to a, uh, an external link. You can also do the same for video or playlist cards. With here, we've got some slightly uh, different options. So here we can look for either the video URL uh, once again, or the playlist URL. Um, so if you've got a particular video that you were linking to, you know, if I did a video about a Stream Deck, for example, and I said, oh, check out all the latest features of Stream Deck, I might have a video that was up to date, but then, you know, new features come out. And so I create a new video with all the latest features. I could go and just replace that original video with the new video of the newest features, <laughs> if that makes sense. So that's just an example of why you might potentially want to do this. Um, and so then once again, you can update things like the video or playlist URL, you can uh, change the message and the teaser text pretty much just as we could with the uh, the URLs uh, and then just clicking continue it will go take you through to a screen where you can just sort of propagate that all out uh, next is delete so you might just want to remove completely a particular card um, so you can either delete ones that have a particular link uh, or you can delete cards that have a particular teaser text um, and so that is just an easy way to go through and if the you know the link is expired or something just click on this one and it will just actually remove those from all of those videos. Now we've got something very similar here for uh, end screens. So copying end screens is uh, again just going to copy all of the elements of your particular end screen. You can pick a recent video. So uh, this one that I did about Discord and Facebook for example. Uh, let's click on continue here. It's going to pull down all of those end screen elements. So on that particular one I was linking to a playlist. Uh, funnily enough my discord playlist <laughs> then it was uh, had my little subscribe button on there and then also uh, uh, choosing a video that was best for viewer so that is something that i might then want to go and apply to all other discord videos for example or all the other all other videos in my discord playlist uh, and so this is how you can basically do a sort of uh, copy that information across uh, next is update so this is going to be very similar to uh, the one that we just looked at with the uh, the cards so here you can choose the uh, the video elements any playlist elements if you lit linking to a specific playlist you may have reorganized your playlists and uh, have something that's a little bit uh, uh, more structured or something like that and so now rather than linking to uh, one playlist you want to link to a completely new playlist so we can go through and change those uh, and the same thing with the videos if you are linking to specific videos then you can uh, go and change those things as well and uh, again we can change uh, the, uh, the the url the title and the uh, the image as well for those uh, so if i come here we can search for things uh, search for link elements by title uh, you can search for video elements by the video URL. So if you're linking to a specific video at that end screen, you can just search for the URL of the video that you've been linking to and up, uh, update that to uh, another video. And the same with the uh, the playlists. Uh, so again, really uh, uh, good <laughs> control that we've got over there. And finally, deleting end screens. So you may just want to delete those. Uh, I'm not sure I would use that one personally uh, just because I would either be changing it or updating it rather than just taking it off but that's more to do with the format of my end screens it would just look a bit weird without anything there so <laughs> uh, but you, you could potentially be deleting something with a particular link um, but again I would use the uh, the find and uh, replace that for that rather than the uh, the total delete function uh, but there you go so that is the bulk cards and the bulk end screens uh, 
this is something that I've not really used a huge amount actually, but as I go forward with the content, I'm sure I'll be using it more and more. However, one that has just been really, uh, I would say priceless and kind of has paid for TubeBuddy in itself. And incidentally, if you wanna get a free trial of TubeBuddy, uh, check out the link in the description and also just below me here, takeonetech.io slash TubeBuddy. That is my affiliate link, but it's one of the best ways to help the uh, channel out is to uh, uh, you know, use these affiliate links where possible if it is something that you're interested in trying out. Um, so uh, yeah, one of the ones that I've used though that has really sort of paid for itself is the uh, find and replace. This is a great tool that allows you to find and replace text in descriptions, in titles, uh, and various other different things. And it can be really good for just adding in extra content uh, and you'll find a load of uses for it. Now I'm gonna be talking about that in this video that's coming up just now. And I'll share with you the experience that I've had with, with it and how it can help you out too.